Today I'm going to show you how to easily create deepfake videos in just a few hours. For this tutorial we'll be using Deepface Lab 2.0, Build 718-2020, and the included video clips. You will need access to a Windows PC with an NVIDIA graphics card. We will be using Deepface Lab's Quick 96 Preset Trainer with default settings by pressing Enter or Return when asked for input. Step 1. Download and install. Visit github.com slash iprov slash deepface lab. Scroll down to the section labeled releases. You can select the torrent magnet link or download from mega.nz. Once your download is complete, you can double click on the .exe file or use your favorite zip program to extract. There is no setup for deepface lab. Once the files are extracted the installation is complete. Open the folder label Deepface Lab NVIDIA. Here you will see a couple of folders and several batch files used in the deepfake process. For this tutorial we will only be using 9 of these files. First let's have a look at the workspace folder. In this directory you will see 3 more folders which will hold our images and trained model files. The two video files include data SRC, our source video, and data DST, our destination video. Click back to the main folder and we'll get started with the deepfake. Step 2. Extract Images Double-click on the file labeled 2, Extract Images from Video Data SRC, and press Enter a few times to use the default values. The video file will be processed and a .png file for each frame will be created. Press any key or simply close the window. Do the same for Data DST using the file labeled 3. Extract images from video data DST full FPS with default values. Step 3. Extract face sets. Now we'll process the images and extract the faces to be used in our deepfake. Double click the file for data SRC face set extract and use the default values. After a few minutes, the extraction will complete and give you a report on the number of images found and faces detected. Do the same for data DST using the file 5, data DST face set extract. Step 4, view face sets. After extraction we can view the source and destination face sets using the files labeled 4.1, data SRC view aligned result, and 5.1, data DST view aligned results. Here we can remove unwanted faces from the project, but for now we will be using all the images. You can exit the image viewer. Step 5. Training It is now time to begin training our deepfake model. Double-click the file labeled 6, Train Quick 96. Again, we will use the default settings. The software will load all our image files and attempt to run the first iteration of our training. If it is successful, then the training preview window will open. If the trainer fails to run, then you will need to try CPU only training which is not covered in this video. Let's take a moment to look at the preview window. At the top we have some keyboard commands. Below that, a graph indicating the accuracy of our training and a preview of our model images. Press the P key to update the preview window and notice the graph and images change. These lines represent loss values that will approach zero over time, so the lower the line the better the results will be. You can see these same values represented as numbers in the command window. The image preview has several columns showing our source and destination images being processed. In the last column we can see the current progress of our deepfake face set. Use this preview window to decide when you want to end the training. Press the enter key to save the model and exit. You can save and restart the training at any time. Step 6. Merging now that our training is complete, we can merge the faces and create our final deepfake video. Start by running 7, Merge Quick 96, and press Enter a few times to load the default settings. In the merger window you will see a map of keyboard commands. For this tutorial we will only be using a few of these commands. Press the Tab key to switch between the keyboard map and the preview window. If you see a black preview just use the period or greater than key to advance to the first frame. You will notice the current frame number and settings displayed in the command window. Use the W and S keys to change the erode mask value to 20, noticing how the border around the face contracts. 
Next use the END keys to raise the blur mask value to 100. Now we apply these settings to the rest of our frames by pressing the SHIFT and SLASH keys simultaneously. Finally, we process the remaining frames by pressing the SHIFT and GREATER THAN keys. Once the merger reaches 100% we can close both windows. The last part of this process is to merge our new deepfake frames into a video file with our destination audio. Double click the file labeled 8, merged to MP4, and press enter to begin processing. Close the window when merging is done. Finally we are ready to view our deepfake video. Navigate to the workspace folder and you will see a couple new files. Play the file labeled result.mp4. But the, life cannot just be about solving one miserable problem after another. Can't, that can't be the only thing. There need, to be, there need to be things that inspire you. Congratulations. You have made a deep fake video. Remember, you can restart the training at any time to improve the quality of your deep fake. Feel free to experiment with the merger settings to get your desired results. You can also create a deep fake from your own videos following this same tutorial by renaming them and replacing the files data underscore src mp4 and data underscore dst mp4 be out there among the stars expand the scope and scale of human consciousness i, I find that incredibly exciting uh, that makes me glad to be alive I, I hope you feel the same way